Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Papa's Toy Shop. I'm Papa, um, also Tony. <laughs> um, back with another video, and this is the video I've been hyping up over the last couple of videos. Um, I have a really good friend of mine over in Dubai. His name is uh, Chirog, and he sent me a special uh, package that he had ordered and sent to here and then I'm going to display it for you guys and of course I'm packaging up and sending to him so nothing in that package will be for sale so um, just want to let you guys know that this is the one that you've been I've been hyping up and hopefully you've been waiting for it has to do with Freddy Funko and I'm pretty excited to get to, to open it up for you guys um, first off uh, I'm going to go ahead and open a, a couple packages got a couple things to talk about and then we'll get right to that mystery box so without further ado let's start get started now my first box here is from Amazon um, I'm pretty sure I know what this order is uh, I, I placed a bunch of pre-orders with Amazon and then they just kind of when they come out they randomly send them to me so um, but this one, I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Uh, of course, Amazon and their boxes and stuff always seem to get trashed. We've got a good hit right here in the corner, but hopefully everything's packaged well on the inside and it'll be just fine. So let's take a look. All right. Okay, it's packed in lots of bubble wrap. They're getting better. I'll have to say Amazon's getting better. I've gotten a few that have just been ridiculous. My last Mickey Mouse that I ordered uh, came in. The top was completely crushed because it was shipped the Mickey Mouse in a box that's real thin, and that's it. It wasn't in another box, didn't have any padding, didn't have anything. So um, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what their deal is. They, they should know that they're doing... Uh, collectibles here and people would like to have the packaging in good shape so um, what we have here it says the Star Wars Chewbacca so this would be the Chewbacca on Hoth and you get to take a look at it here and there we go there's the Chewbacca on Hoth uh, there's a couple other ones that are in this series there's the Wampa and then there's Han Solo um, if you look on the back, you can see the little figures on the back. It says that it's uh, it's got the uh, oh, it's the droid robot that comes that comes down and and tries to track everybody. Uh, and then it's got a couple more down there. I'm not quite sure what those are, but I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, this is the Amazon Amazon exclusive Star Wars flocked uh, battle at Echo Base Chewbacca. Um, I will have this up for sale on the website. Um, here pretty soon so there it is there's the new Chewbacca alright I've got a couple little things that I've had for a little bit and I just wanted to kind of show them off a little bit here um, first of all uh, Funko, pop, or Funko has been putting out uh, pop pins I'm sure to kind of go against the fig pins to try to compete um, I like both of them. I think the fig pins are a little bit better because they're better quality. But this one is actually pretty cool. It is the Harry Potter Hedwig one. And it's actually a leather pin. It's not, you know, all metal. I'm sure it has a metal frame and everything. I have not taken it out of the package or anything like that. Um, he's really cool. I mean, he's a it's covered with leather and all the all that. So it's it's really really neat. Uh, there's other uh, pops in the or excuse me pop pins in the series. Uh, looks like we got Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Dumbledore will also be available if they're not already. So thought this one was really pretty cool. And again, it'll be, everything will be up for sale on the website, or you can contact me at the email below, and you can also uh, just email me directly, and I can help uh, see what I can do to get it to you. So there's that one. Then I have another one that I've had for just a little while now. Um, I got this pretty cheap off of eBay. Uh, it is the Dragon Ball Z uh, fig pin set. And you'll notice it's got the different characters along here. Um, I really don't know all the characters' names. I think this is uh, this is like uh, Majin Buu. Uh, this might be Piccolo. Different ones like that. I'm not really sure. Piccolo. You know, don't yell at me if I get the names wrong. These anime names are crazy. So, but this is what the case is. And then there's a, a blank one in there. 
but you can buy that one separately. So here's what this looks like on the inside. Then you open it. And then on the inside it says unlock awesome. And then you pull that out and then there are the pins. And as you can see they have the different fig pins that are in there and then there's the middle one that um, I got separately and was able to add it to the, to the set to make it a complete set. Um, it came with the case in there but the case was empty. So you just had to find the fig pin, put it in the set and you've got a full set. Um, it doesn't have the names on the front of them because these are specialized cases so I really don't know <laughs> what their names are like I said I'm not real good with the anime names yet so we'll go ahead and package that back up put them back in his sleeve and this set is up for sale it's a really really neat set especially if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan these are really really cool I, I love the fig pins I think they're awesome um, another real quick thing, I'm going to have all my uh, uh, WWE, WWF uh, Funko Pops on sale. Uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to do a uh, promo code to buy them at a, at a cheaper price than what, uh, what they normally listed at. So you can get a good deal on those. Um, I have a couple of really good ones. I've got like, um, what's his name? He is the American Nightmare Cody, which I know that's not WWE. That's more, I think that's a... Uh, Japanese wrestling but he's pretty popular I got a really cool one here I got Roddy Rowdy Roddy Piper um, he's a really neat pop he was I actually loved him in the they live movie he was such such a good in that movie it was so cheesy it was great and uh, but they do have pops for they live coming up real soon um, I have those pre-ordered so they'll be ready for you guys if you if you'd want to get them and then I have other ones like I have the invisible John Cena uh, I've got Jake the snake um, here's Kenny Omega to go with um, American Nightmare and then like the rock with the orange jacket and I have several more that are gonna be on there I've got the six inch uh, Andre the Giant I've got uh, Mean Gene Okerlund I've got uh, Million Dollar Man I've got just a whole bunch of them over there that'll be available for sale alright now we're down to what everybody's been waiting for where I hyped up over three videos hopefully you're not disappointed but I don't think you're going to be because this is something I haven't seen anybody open one I've checked a lot of videos but I haven't seen it now I, I may have missed it you guys may have seen it when I didn't but uh, it's something that doesn't come up very often and it's a pretty rare uh, box and I'm probably going to get people yelling at me for opening it but uh, Chirag wanted me to do it so here it is there you go cardboard box that's all it is <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and get this opened up and uh, check it out as long as I don't stab myself there you go I need to put this on the stone or something it's getting pretty dull Lots and lots of packing material. And you definitely want to keep this one safe. All right, here we go. I'll have to say that the box is a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be, but good things come in small packages. So here we have the Making Fun box from the world premiere of Making Fun. Uh, the video made by Funko. It's actually pretty interesting if you ever, guys haven't checked it out yet. Kind of gives a history of Funko and kind of talks about how they do things and stuff. It's really neat. And this was from the um, premiere at the TLC Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California. As you can see, it's completely sealed. And uh, you don't see these things come up very often, especially sealed. So, uh, Chara was very good uh, about getting one he got one for a good deal off of eBay snagged it at an auction he sent it to me um, he wants me to open it on camera and then that way you guys can see what's in it 
and then uh, I'll package it up and send it on to him. So I know everybody's going to be like, oh, you can't open that. You're going to ruin the value. Well, the value is the pop inside that's to Chirog, not just the box. He, he likes to be able to see because you look in the box, at the box, you can't see the pop. So, all right, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Be very careful with the plastic so I don't mess up the box. And we have we've done it now, we've unsealed it. Alright. And there's another another look at the box, maybe a little easier to see now that it's out of the plastic. I know the kind of a glare on it there, but there it is. Um, here's the back. And then on the side it talks about the um, opening day was of um, uh, the uh, TLC Chinese Theater. Tells when it opened, how much it cost, stuff like that. Then on the other side it talks about the filmmaker and gives all kinds of different stats and stuff. So let's open it up and we can see what's inside. Just kind of try to take it easy here. I didn't have my letter opener, so you use the knife, put the, the not sharp spot up the front, and then it's kind of twist a little bit, you'll be good. So, all right, and here we go. Inside the box, we have um, Wolfamere Making Fun Admit One Ticket. For, uh, it says, come for the toys, stay for the people. www.makingfunthemovie.com and there's the front of it and then there's the back and I'm assuming this is how you got the tickets to go into the theater is you you bought one of these sets there's the ticket and you got to go see the movie so next we have a little canister We've got something in it let's open this up and see and we have some pins from the night, let me get that. Let's see if I can get that out so I can hold them up. And here are the pens from the Making Fun movie, which I think those are really cool looking, especially with them being you got the Gold Freddy, you've got the little clapboard, and then you've got the star from the Hollywood Walk of Fame on there. So that's really really neat. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell you exactly. Uh, looks like the star does say Freddy Funko on it, but comes in this really awesome looking uh, tin that looks like a film canister. So we'll go ahead and put that back in there. All right, then it looks like we have a uh, coin. It's a Funko coin. It's gold colored. I don't know for sure if it is gold plated I highly doubt it being a gold coin in particular but it could be gold plated or it could just be colored and here's the back side of it. it said I don't have my glasses with me so I can't really read off what it says to you so um, you might just have to blow up your video and take a look and see um, I may when I'm at the video for this I'll try to put the what it says on the bottom of it or do a close-up of it and put it in the video too so that way you can see better what these are so all right, there's the coin, and there's one more thing in the box, and that would be Director Freddy. Um, this is a really, really neat pop. pop. Um, I know a lot of people like this one. It's It's got pretty good value on it, too. Um, but the box is in absolute mint condition. This is in mint condition. Everything is in such good shape. Um, of course, this one is going to go right into a pop shield armor as soon as I can. And there's the back. The other side, you got the front where it says the, has the making fun. And then, of course, you got all the Funko stuff on the bottom there. But you got Freddy Funko there with his glasses. He's holding the clapboard that says making fun on it. And uh, he's just really, really awesome. And I really want to thank Chirog for allowing me to open this one. I would love to own this one. I've started my own Freddy Funko collection. 
I've got a pretty good one so far. I've got a few good ones. Of course, I don't have any of the grails yet because they're a little too expensive for me to try to get a hold of. Um, I have procured a few grails for uh, Chirag. I got him the uh, Freddy Funko as Kurt Cobain. Uh, that one was a really neat one to get a hold of. Uh, looks awesome. Got him in the, the pop armor and he's ready to go out there to get shipped over to him. So if anybody's looking for anything in particular, if you just let me know, I can, I can usually find it. It might take me a while because I have a lot of people I'm looking for stuff for. And uh, there's only so many hours in the day. You know, it's, I had to spend time with my family. Um, I can't be on a computer for very long because of my disability. It just hurts too much. So I do the best I can, and I will help out everybody the best I can. I ship worldwide. It's not a problem. I don't, don't mind at all. So uh, uh, just contact me and let me know. I've got my email below. I'll have a link to, um, I guess I'll put a link to Amazon <laughs> down there because it's not any special company. But uh, that's where I got the uh, Flock Chewbacca right there. And then uh, I'll have all my WWF and WWE pops on sale. Um, I'll have a link to my website that has the section where those are all there so you can order them. Uh, if you want to order more than one, I, um, you'll just contact me through Facebook or email and I can do a deal on the shipping. So, so just let me know. But there we go. Uh, oh, and before I go, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a new table covering. Uh, it's Deadpool... Um, and it looks like it's in the uh, Donkey Kong style, but it has like, there's a carrot here, there's, I'm sure that's like a turnip or something. And it looks like it has Space Invaders in there too. I'll put a picture up right over here so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Um, it's pretty cool. I didn't know what it was. I, didn't, I thought it was a wall hanging. I didn't know if it was a tablecloth or what, but hey, I think it works perfect for my uh, base here on my table so stuff doesn't slide around and get damaged. So I um, hope you guys like the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And uh, There's also that little bell that you can click. That way you know when I've got new videos coming out. And uh, I hope at this point you guys have been enjoying my videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this video enough that you can click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And... Uh, the bell is for the subscribe, sorry, not the likes. So, but uh, here we go. Um, if there's anything in particular you guys like to see, if there's a mystery box out there that you guys think I should get, just let me know. I, I don't have a problem. I open just about anything. I'll have some different things besides Funko Pops and stuff coming up here soon too, since I am a toy shop, not just a Funko shop. So I'm in no way affiliated with Funko or any of these other companies that I talk to or talk about. So um, there's and they're not paying me for any of this stuff. This is all me. So, um, all right. I uh, hope you guys had a good time, and I hope you have a great day.